cool, a letter from a friend that wants to know about Pillar Point. All right, under Pillar Point, let's learn about the seafloor. Now, I'm a troller. I like to use a rotating flasher. I usually put a spoon of some type behind it, and I catch really nice fish if I concentrate on this area right here. Now, the fish size range from 10 to 15 to 20 pounds. Occasionally, I'll get some in the 30-pound class. The depth that I prefer is that 165 foot of depth. And that's where these fish seem to be lying in the current. Now remember, fish always face current with and across the current. So when you're out here off the pillar and you're making the drift along this seafloor, you want to go with and across the current with your gear. Now I want you to concentrate here on how tight the river rock is that's on this seafloor. So that tells me that in this area, looking towards the west, there's a lot of current flow. And where you find the current, you'll find the fish. And that's why the pillar is so popular for putting out big kings, especially in this troll area right here. You hit that 90 foot like you're looking at here, moving down into that 130 foot of depth, the only thing that you're going to have to watch out for is there's more seaweed, there's more kelp, because there's more light, and that seems to make the growth of that come alive. Looking back towards the pillar to the south, and this area here holds a lot of bait. For some reason, if you get the tide right on that incoming high along the kelp beds and rocks, these bait, herring, candlefish, needlefish, get up in here, and these birds have a heyday on them. It's just like this area that I prefer here of this 220 foot of depth. Many times I've got big fish in here, not salmon, but halibut. What? On a flash or fly you catch a halibut? Yeah, I've caught a lot of halibut in this area on a flash or fly combination. And for some reason, they like to stay down on this sandy, muddy area that has a lot of rock in it as well. And the whole trick of the trade in here is to stay with and across the current and keep bouncing that downrigger weight off the seafloor in this 200-foot area. Now, if I show you another shot of it when this area here, we're going to be back to the deeper depth. But notice how sandy it is now. See the sand? Okay, that's where these halibut lie. Now, if you get up in a little bit shallower water, you're going to come up to an area that's got structure. And any time that you can find an area out here off of this coal mine area, we call it, with structure of rocks, oh, boy, I tell you, now you're into where the kings like to hang out because that bait gets pushed up along the seafloor there in this area where these rocks are, and you get a lot of fish that'll stay right in this area, and you'll be in great shape. Wow! It's exciting when you can look at the seafloor up close like that. And on the chart here, as we leave Pillar Point, wow, what a good day. Cosmos, come on, I'm wrapping stuff up here. Take me home, Cosmos. Come on, Cosmos, bring me home. Cosmos, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, that's not good, you scratched. Come on, I'll put you down. Well, you don't have to be mad about it. Come on, I'll pick you up and put you down. Oh, man. Okay, well, hey, good news is Missy's out at the pond kind of looking for you, so if you want to head that way. Hello, everyone, I'm back. I'm enjoyed uh, sharing the, about the Pillar Point area, looking at the seafloor. And I'm going to wrap this YouTube up with the affirmations of life for you youngsters. Leadership. If you're put in charge of someone or a team or something that you have responsibility for, you need to take charge of it, all right? First of all, is with the ball in hand that you have, you can come up on the high side of this and roll the cue ball down and come into this area. Well, leadership's a lot of the same way. If you're a leader and you make a decision, you can work your team to benefit each other 
simply because you have tricks of the trade. And what are they to, for, for a good leader? One is that you have to have a positive attitude. But secondly, and it's real important that you get this, is it's just like shooting the 15. You want to come off the rail nice. Now I have a nice position in the middle of the table here to make the eight. Leadership, along with keen sense of justice, high level of energy, combined with a positive attitude, looking out for your fellow man as you work together, Wow, if you can get a team together like that, how can you lose when you're looking after the other people? No matter how much pain you're in, and know how much difficult it is, if you're looking out for your teammate, wow.